Well, California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed an executive order to study the uses and risks of AI. C3 AI CEO Thomas Siebel joins me now for details on this. I, I kind of laugh because I just want to do you think any politician, I don't just want to single out one, but does any politician know enough about AI to regulate it properly? Well, good morning, David. Uh, you know, my read on this is most of what we're seeing as it relates to public policy, be it the EU uh, AI Act or the discussion that's going on in Washington, D.C. to regulate AI. You know, these these policies are just kind of crazy written by people who have no understanding of what they're talking about. Now, I would say that, um, you know, this uh, this executive order N-1223 that was signed by Governor Newsom. This is a uh, this is really unusual uh, as it relates to a public policy proposal, uh, uh, and, and as it relates to applying and uh, and and exploring generative AI. I would describe this document as cogent, thoughtful, concise, productive, and really extraordinarily positive public policy, uh, where they propose to uh, kind of redouble efforts in a big way to understand the risks and the benefits of generative AI as it relates to the people of California and the systems in California, and to find ways to deploy these technologies uh, to the benefit of the people of, the, of wow. California. I, I, and the excuse me, yeah. Thomas, I just have to and say, I'm a little shocked because yeah. very rarely does somebody who's about to get regulated talk, you know, heap praise on the people who might be regulating them. Is, is what I'm hearing the fact that you're not afraid that that regulation will interfere with the, with the trajectory of your company? No, I think if you read this document carefully, there is no regulation on AI companies. Interesting. Uh, there, there's no proposal for regulation here. This is a proposal to study the benefits and okay. risks of generative AI and figure out how to apply generative AI in the state of California okay. to the benefit of the people. This could be flood mitigation, wildfire mitigation, right. uh, safe power generation and distribution, uh, fraud avoidance, what have you to how to avoid the risks associated with privacy and what have you, and how to apply these technologies to the benefit of the, is, of, of the people. Is, this privacy, is, good is privacy the biggest risk of AI, the invasion of privacy, or are there other risks that are even bigger? Oh, there are risks that are bigger than privacy. The privacy issues are daunting, but we will use, I mean, you know, when we apply, you know, AI will be used to ration health care. AI will be used to uh, for social media scoring uh, to evaluate, you know, who can fly, who can get insurance, who can vote. OK, who can go to college? You know, they do this in China today. They yeah. will do this in the United States. So there's a lot of, you know, very, very detrimental um, attributes to the right. application of AI and generative AI. Thomas, and I, what I, this I, proposal is, this is a cogent proposal yeah. to understand them and avoid gotcha. those risks. I got to ask a, uh, about a risk to your company, which is that investors think there's too much, a lot of investors think there's a little too much risk to your company in terms of, of uh, projection of profit uh, for the future. They're not willing to wait that long. You know how investors are. Your stock right now is down about 12 percent. Are you concerned about that at all, about the lack of patience to wait on, on on, on uh, profit from your company? I think our stock is up in excess of 200% this year. And Just a uh, so the thing. market, around, and so the, the, the stock is doing pretty well. We did push out profitability by a couple of quarters because we're making huge investments in generative AI. Uh, and we're confident that's in the benefit of the shareholders. And so there's a, you know, one day, you know, stock reaction. Right. But, you know, right. my, my job is not to manage the day to day. Uh, stock price. My do job is to build a great company and to build economic benefit for the shareholders. Yeah. And I'm confident this decision is, is, is in the shareholders. You know, I remember, I remember Jeff Bezos saying exactly the same thing when investors uh, were, were refusing to believe in the future of Amazon. So it's happened before. Thomas, great to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you, David. Absolutely.